Hello. Um, I have another video that I just have to edit and then I'll post it up. Uh, I set myself up for failure with that one because I actually recorded it with a lot of editing in mind thinking that I would feel like doing that editing and then I didn't. And uh, it's really a lot of work and it's really not hugely important. So if I ever get around to editing that you'll see it. It's about communism, socialism, and capitalism. The fact that so many people don't know that there is a difference between socialism and communism kind of inspired me to try to put everything in layman's terms and, you know, just educate people a little more. Um, but uh, like I said, I put a lot of editing uh, requirements into that that I ended up not feeling like doing. So, you may or may not see that one up here, um, but you'll just have to find out. But this video, I'm kind of going against what I said in a previous video. I said I wasn't going to do any more atheist-theist debate videos, and uh, I'm not really. I'm not trying to convince anyone that theism is wrong in this video. I'm not trying to convince people if uh, that atheism is right. I'm not trying to go do any of that. However, what I'm doing is correcting people who I'm getting tired of hearing uh, when they use, well, they attempt to use patriotism to justify why theism is right. First of all, if you, I hate patriotism in general. Uh, when I was in my government class in high school, senior year of high school I took an American government class and there was a whole chapter on patriotism part of which mentioned that there's positive patriotism and negative patriotism and to be honest I've never seen positive patriotism you can be happy that your country your country is the best on earth but if you do that you automatically unconsciously start uh, start degrading other countries and everyone from those countries. You may not realize you're doing it, you may not want to do it, but you do. It, it just happens. And that's why I don't think there's any such thing as positive patriotism. Um, I think that if you think your country is the best on earth just because you were born there, which by the way is a paraphrase of a George Bernard Shaw quote, um, which I really love, um, but if you think that, you know, then you have some other things you need to work out because being born somewhere doesn't make it better than anywhere else. Uh, every country has its pros, it has its cons, so to think that one country is better than all others is ridiculous. Anyway, that aside, this video is about all those people who consistently say as justification for why you should be religious as an American or why atheists are not good Americans in their words they say America was founded on Christian or America was founded by Christians or America is a Christian country that is complete bull complete and total bull uh, and uh, I'm not going to post any links or anything to what I'm saying here. I've done my research. If you actually want to look this up, I encourage you to go look it up if you don't already know this stuff. You can find it anywhere online. There's plenty of sources out there. Just Google it, and the first link that pops up will probably have the right answer. But most of the founding fathers of America were not Christians by any sense of the word. Most of them were deists. Some were atheists, but most were deists. If you don't know what a deist is, it's essentially the belief that, um, let me see how to word this, it's the belief that there is a higher power, so I guess you could say there is a god, but it's not the god of any organized religion. It is not the Christian god, not the Jewish god, not the Muslim god, etc., etc. Um, what exactly this god is kind of varies from deist to deist. It's more open and arbitrary than other religions. 
it's kind of like I believe there's some <clears throat> excuse me it's kind of like I believe there's something more but I don't know what it is and then you know fill in the blank with your personal beliefs uh, most deists however do not believe that whatever this higher power is actually interferes with the universe some do like I said it's very arbitrary but most believe that this creator created the universe set everything in motion and then step back and let everything handle itself the way it's supposed to and uh, you know that's very different from the Christian God and the Jewish God same God Judeo-Christian God who if you read the Bible and believe it interferes a lot in human history and yet in recent years recent being the last few hundred years thousand I would say uh, has not done anything that we can record in history so but that's a different story my point is founding fathers of America were not Christians they were deists and atheists mostly deists uh, George Washington was a deist um, in addition to that even if he were a Christian hypothetically because he wasn't but even if he were, he was still very tolerant of other religious beliefs. He, um, there are many quotes from him about being tolerant and about not criticizing others for their religious beliefs or lack thereof. And uh, there's a good quote that I copied down here uh, from George Washington. It says, uh, somebody asked him who he's going to get to uh, work on the... Uh, construction on Mount Vernon, and in case you didn't know, that's where he lived, um, and he said, if they're good workmen, they may be from Asia, Africa, or Europe. They may be Mohammedans, which I guess is the old word for Muslims, uh, Jews, Christians of any sect, or they may be atheists, as long as they are good workmen. So, George Washington himself the ultimate founder of the country you know there were many founders but he was the first leader of the country and he said I don't care if you're Muslim Jewish Christian he specifically mentioned atheists doesn't matter as long as you're good at what you do I'll hire you and obviously I'm not saying that the people who say that you're not American if you're an atheist are not gonna hire an atheist I'm just saying if George Washington considered them Americans don't you think that should be good enough for you especially considering that the founding fathers were not Christian most of them um, another thing is people say that you know under God is in the Pledge of Allegiance we in God we trust is on the money and therefore is, that proves that we're a Christian country well, guess what? This stuff wasn't always on our money and in our pledge. As a matter of fact, um, the Pledge of Allegiance that says "under one nation under God did not say under God until 18, uh, 1864. The words under God were added in 1864 and it caught on. In case you didn't know, America was founded in 1783. Declaration of Independence found, uh, was signed in, and ratified in 1776, but then we went through the Revolutionary War to gain real independence, which ended in 1783. So, between 1783 and 1864, almost a hundred years, we never said under God in our Pledge of Allegiance. We are not a Christian country. Our money, in God we trust on our coins and on our bills. In God we trust was not on our coins until 1948. 1783 to 1948, no mention of in God we trust anywhere on our money. And it especially was not our, you know, national motto because nobody even brought it up so my point is our America is not a Christian country 
or at least it was not founded as such. It has become more Christian over the years as people started adding Christian ideals into um, national symbols like the Pledge of Allegiance and our, our currency. But it was never supposed to be that way. So, um, my point is, to say that our country was founded by Christians, or that you are not a Christian if you are an atheist, is patently offense. or I'm sorry, did I just say you're not a Christian if you're an atheist? That goes without saying. What I meant was, to say that you're not American if you're an atheist, then that's just patently ridiculous, and it's kind of offensive. You know, like I said, I hate patriotism, but to be honest, I know a lot of people who are patriotic without being discriminating. I don't know how they manage to do that. They're just very in control of themselves, which I really respect. My point is, a lot of people are proud of being Americans. And to tell them they're not American just because they don't believe something that our founding fathers didn't believe is like... It's just the opposite of intelligence. It's stupidity. It's beyond stupidity. It's like saying that if you're good with computers, then you can't work at Microsoft. Makes no sense. So, um, this video has gone on for 11 minutes. I think that's long enough. My point is, you know, well, I've said my point. Agree with it, disagree with it, I don't care. Just try not to flame or spam in my comments. Please, my other videos have gotten uh, a lot of spam lately and flaming. I think they are mostly from some people that I used to know up in New York that I didn't particularly like, they didn't like me. But my point is, please try to keep the comments civil and uh, intelligent, if you can. Uh, if you have an opinion, I'd love to hear it, but try to say it nicely. You know, if you don't have something nice to say, don't say it. That goes for typing as well. All right, like I said, you'll see the uh, communism, socialism, capitalism video uh, soon if I ever get around to editing it. Um, but I may never do that because I'm lazy. Uh, but I'm actually going to record another vlog right after I record this. Because uh, I got some things going on in my life that I just wanted to share with anybody who's actually paying attention. I'm surprised I have so many uh, subscribers now. I think I'm up to like 110 already. It's ridiculous. I never thought that I said anything actually worth listening to. I mean, I thought it was something people should hear and understand, but... There are so many other people who say it much better than I do, much more eloquently. Uh, you know, I'm just a 20-year-old kid that just, you know, posts YouTube videos in his spare time. But it's nice to know that people actually listen to me, so... For those who listen to me and actually, you know, want to pay attention to what's going on in my life, there will be another vlog up immediately after this video is uh, recorded and put up. So, look out for that if you want.